Hey you guys, um, I just want to do a really quick video on on how to use the DJI RS3 Pro with the Sony a7 III. Um, I had a huge problem trying to figure out how to get the Raven Eye, especially if you go out and you buy the combo, the RS3 combo. I couldn't get the Raven Eye to work right. You know, I had it to where, you know, I wouldn't have video, but I was able to control the camera or I would have video and I couldn't control the camera and I couldn't figure out what the heck what the problem was. Um, and so let me just show you what I did really quick without making this long. So all I have here is an HDMI cable out going into the camera, into the HDMI port on the Sony camera. And on the other side, you can see here in the bottom slot, I have a USB-C going out into the back of the Raven Eye right there. And in the top spot, I've got a USB cable to Sony, H, uh, I guess it's a Sony multi-camera uh, cable cord. And that's going into the bottom of the A7 III. Now, I don't know if all of the settings, all these little uh, ports are the same for the other Sony cameras, but I know, you know, it, it might work the same way, but this is the first time that this thing actually works. And I've got it here hooked up to my iPad Pro. As you can see, there's video and I've got, you know, force motion on here. I can move it around. I can see everything. I've got a very big screen. And that's another thing. You don't have to go out and buy all these, you know, expensive monitors and all this type of stuff as I don't know, some kind of weird flex or something like that. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, that's what the Raven Eye is for. So just use that, man. Save your money for, you know, other things like microphones and lights and all that other type of stuff. So hopefully this helps someone out and um, you can get your stuff working if you're running into this problem. All right. Take it easy.